Okay, you guys, so finally, going to show you the final November budget. So first off, let's look at income. Um, now, I have finalized this uh, just because we are mid-December now, um, but our total income was $7,584.12. For reimbursements, my grandma and Rance's work did get reimbursed, but the de check deposited in December, so for that reason, it will not zero out until December. Then for giving, we had a lot of gifts this month uh, just to prepare for Christmas stuff, um, lots of stuff like that. And then uh, giving, we had some donations. For housing, um, you guys can see the numbers, but nothing super crazy. I'm honestly surprised. So in December, my gas bill did go up, but it's about $50, which I think is very low for how cold it's been. So I'm kind of surprised and wondering what's going to go on, but I really do enjoy it because the electricity is also going down, which is allowing us to save not a huge amount, but you know, any amount helps. So saving at least some trash $14 and my phone bill 36 uh 71 right there let's actually make that 51 because it was 51 so there we go see I mistyped something already so that's 20 cents uh pet care is looking great at $25 in there transportation gas we spent 440 51 you guys maintenance this was a rough maintenance and I can just tell you that December and or January is also going to be rough my car has had a pretty significant diagnosis and we're waiting on quotes to get it fixed but it's going to be in the thousands of dollars range so we have to have some serious conversations on what we will be doing moving forward depending on how the quotes come back and everything like that um, but basically um, we had the car wash subscription I had a nail in my tire my husband washed his car both of our cars got oil changes, and then when they did his oil change, they realized his struts had been uh, rubbing on his tires, and so his entire, uh, both of his back tires were completely bald um, on the inside. So those needed replaced, so in addition to the struts, we also got new tires. So as you can see, that was very expensive. You know, there was an alignment and everything else that came with that, and then food. Um, we spent fifty six forty five. That's not right. I'm sorry. Um, I spent one hundred and forty three fifty five. So not too bad. Um, really at this point because of not only prices increasing, but because there's two of us, and just because of the fact that we're moving. So a lot of our food storage is packed up. Um, so unfortunately we can't get to it. So we're purchasing what we need. Uh, right off the bat like as we need it so that just shows you how much having a back stock saves you um we spent good amount and then restaurants same there's like I said there's just a lot going on right now um so that was 220 51. I really would be happy if we stayed 200 and under at this point so next we have entertainment I did get some entertainment in there um, I went to Big Lots and we had a kind of a girls night with some of my friends and we did uh, Christmas wreaths and so I'm really excited about that. Rance again did not spend anything so his is just building up. We had a big spending month in clothing um, so basically we just had some stuff that had some holes in it and that needed to go so we did a big replacement and a big stock up so those should be good for several years moving forward. Hair and beauty, nothing. Household maintenance, uh, we did spend a little bit. Um, razors, and then we got some hangers. So now we have mashing hangers, which is something that I've wanted for a long time and had started the process when I was single. And now that Rance has fully moved in and everything like that, our hangers were back to being mismatched. So we went ahead and purchased them. So they all match again and things like that. Our investments were made as normal. Same with our Spotify. No yearly subscriptions. For medical, we had some stuff up here, but nothing major. And insurance. I did pay my car insurance. It was 
48 for the next six months. So not too bad at all. And I'm not going to zero out this $13. I'm just going to leave it for the next time we make a payment. We did make a $2,000 payment on his car. Um, we are almost down to $20,000. So that is exciting. And that means that future house, let me adjust that 20 cents there, um, gets $1,586.25. So pretty exciting there. So basically my entire income is going towards the payoff of the car plus a future house. There's, it's absolutely insane that we're able to do that. Um, and that my income is basically just pushing us forward on our goals and that our, that my husband's income is basically what we're living off of. It's very exciting to see that. And it's very, it's very happy to see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for watching this, even though it's a very late video. And I'm hoping to get back on track at the new year. I am already pre-filming some videos for you guys. So you will see, hopefully see videos back on track and get a better explanation of everything that's going on um, once we move and things start to settle down. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.